the 100 game is part of a math game genre of NIM, which are mathematical strategy games in which players take turns removing objects from distinct piles or heaps. This two-player game requires very little materials, simply a sheet of paper and a pencil for each player. Players start at 100 and take turns subtracting from the total. You may only subtract numbers 1 through 10. The goal of the game is to not be the last person to take away numbers from the total. You want to subtract the second to last total. Now, there are a couple applications to mathematical thinking. First and foremost, players practice subtracting within 100, so second graders should be comfortable playing this game. Now the strategy of the game requires deductive reasoning. Trying to find out how to win, and especially asking questions about ensuring victory, means students will have to use deductive reasoning to decide how much to subtract from the changing total. Let's watch an example play of this game. Here, they will play rock, paper, scissors, and the winner will decide who goes first. The winner decided to go first here. Player one starts by saying, I will do 100 minus nine, and then both players record 100 minus nine equals 91 on their sheets. Then player two says, 91 minus four. Once again, both players record the arithmetic on their papers. Players keep taking turns subtracting from the ever-changing total, thinking ahead about how to not be the last person. Let's watch these players as they near the end of the game. So how did player two know that they had won when they got to the number 12? Teachers, you might want to take note of the specialty of this number. Kent Haynes has some interesting thoughts on the magic of this number. Try playing the game a few times and you might begin to see why we call it the magic number. Some questions you might want to ask yourself, and especially your students. Does it matter who goes first? What should your strategy be? How can you ensure that you will win? At what point in the game do you need to start using your strategy? We all love a game that can be easily adjusted, and this game can be easily adjusted for different grade levels. For younger grades, you can start at 10 and subtract only one or two at a time. In this case, using tokens might be especially helpful. For older students, once they understand the base game, you can opt the scale, starting from a larger number and also allowing subtraction of larger numbers. You could even discuss what the new magic number might be. Another variation might be to start at zero, change subtraction to addition, and shoot for 100. Of course, this is only one example of a math game within the genre of NIM. Thanks to Kent Haynes on his website Games Fearing Minds for introducing me to this genre of games. Links can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching!